We all want to get fit, which leads us to experiment with various workouts or try out newly emerging supplements or even jump impulsively onto the next trend. But sometimes, fitness doesn't have to be extremely complicated. To ensure we are on track on our journey, here are 10 common fitness myths you should avoid. Myth number one, cardio is the key to weight loss. Many people think that focusing only on cardio exercises is the best way to lose weight. While cardio does burn calories, it's not the most effective way to reshape your body on its own. Strength training is also essential because it builds muscle, which burns more calories even when you're not exercising. Solely doing cardio can lead to a plateau in weight loss efforts. Integrating both cardio and strength training provides a balanced approach, ensuring optimal fitness and weight loss results. Myth number two, lifting heavy weights makes you bulky. A common misconception is that lifting heavy weights will automatically make you bulky, especially among women. The truth is, gaining significant muscle mass requires intense strength training and specific nutrition. Women generally have lower levels of the hormones necessary for bulking up. Weightlifting, in reality, tones muscles and improves overall fitness without excessive bulking. It's important to understand that muscle tone and size are influenced by a variety of factors, including genetics and workout regimen. Lifting weights can enhance muscle definition and support a leaner physique. Myth number three, it's okay to eat whatever if you exercise? Some believe that as long as you work out, you can eat whatever you want without consequences. This is a dangerous myth because poor dietary choices can negate the benefits of even the most rigorous exercise routines. Exercise and nutrition go hand in hand. A balanced diet is crucial for fitness progress and overall health. Consuming more calories than you burn, regardless of exercise, can lead to weight gain. Remember, no amount of exercise can compensate for bad eating habits. Myth number four, stretching prevents injuries. The belief that stretching before exercise will prevent injuries is widespread, but not entirely accurate. While stretching can increase flexibility and prepare your muscles for activity, it doesn't guarantee you'll avoid injuries. Proper workout form and technique play a much larger role in injury prevention. It's also important to listen to your body and adjust your workout as needed. Including a variety of stretches and warm-up exercises can improve your overall performance and reduce the risk of injury. Myth number five, the scale is the ultimate measure of fitness. Many people obsess over the number on the scale as the sole indicator of their fitness progress. However, this approach is flawed because it doesn't account for muscle gain, which can make you heavier even as you become leaner. Body composition changes, such as increased muscle and decreased fat, are not always reflected by the scale. It's more effective to measure progress through body measurements, how your clothes fit, and overall strength and endurance improvements. Focusing solely on weight can be discouraging and misleading. A comprehensive view of fitness includes a variety of factors, not just weight. Myth number six, cardio machines accurately count calories. Relying on cardio machines for precise calorie burn counts is a mistake. These machines often provide estimates based on general data and may not account for individual differences in metabolism, body composition, and effort level. Factors such as age, weight, and fitness level significantly impact calorie expenditure. For more accurate tracking, consider using heart rate monitors or fitness trackers that can be personalized to your specific details. Myth number seven, supplements and protein shakes are essential after workouts. The myth that you must consume supplements or protein shakes immediately after working out is widespread. While post-workout nutrition is important for recovery, it can be adequately obtained from whole foods. Supplements can be convenient but are not necessary for everyone. It's more important to focus on a balanced diet that meets your nutritional needs. Remember, the best source of recovery nutrients comes from a well-rounded diet, not just supplements. Myth number eight, sweating more means working harder. The misconception that a good workout is measured by how much you sweat is misleading. Sweating is a biological response to regulate body temperature and varies greatly from person to person. Factors such as the environment, clothing, and individual physiology affect sweat rates. A challenging workout can occur with minimal sweating and effort should be measured by intensity and personal progress. It's essential to understand that sweat is not an indicator of calories burned or workout effectiveness. Evaluating your workout should be based on performance and how you feel, not just on sweat. Myth number nine, no pain, no gain. The saying, no pain, no gain, is a harmful myth in the fitness world. While muscle soreness can be a sign of a good workout, actual pain is an indication that something might be wrong. Pushing through pain can lead to serious injuries and setbacks in your fitness journey. It's important to differentiate between the discomfort of muscle fatigue and the warning signs of injury. Proper form, pacing, and recovery are key components of a safe and effective workout routine. Myth number 10, longer workouts are always better. The belief that longer workouts lead to better results is a misconception. Quality often trumps quantity when it comes to exercise. Overly long sessions can lead to burnout, overtraining, and injury. A balanced workout plan that includes a mix of cardio, strength, and flexibility training can be more effective. It's also crucial to allow your body time to recover between workouts. Efficient and focused exercise sessions can achieve great results without spending hours at the gym. And that's a wrap. Progress takes
takes time. But what's even more important is being in the right direction. Be sure to unlearn these myths to make informed choices to meet your fitness goals.